Well, the program started as a dream. When I became Star Archon, the star prior to me, Robert Alexander, came up with a concept. And the concept was what we were going to do was to do things in such a way that we motivated um, kids, young men, let's, let's call them kids, to stay in school. And he thought, what a great thing to do is to give a kid a bicycle. What kid wouldn't want a bicycle? Well, one of our senior archons said, that's fine, that's great, but let's tie that reward of a bicycle to some type of effort. Let's merge that with some type of academic effort. The original thought was, let's go get some teenagers, some of these gang members. Let's look at them and, and understand the concept there and show these kids a better way. Once that information and data got looked at, it became obvious to us that the third grade level uh, was the, the, the place to start. Why? Because if you can't read at the third grade level, you're much more likely to end up in the uh, prison system. We felt that men like us, men that have reached points that we have reached, we should be doing something about it. So in the fall of 2011, the men of the Alpha Theta Boule approached Millwood Public Schools, a predominantly African-American school district in Northeast Oklahoma City. With the help of teachers, administrators, and the school board, 10 Archons entered Millwood Elementary School and took 10 third graders under their wing. From that, the Ride into the Future program was born. Thought throughout. Thought throughout. Each Archon would follow their mentee from third grade all the way through high school. Their proposal was very unique. It was not a one-year commitment. It was a long-term commitment with the students. Can you read my life? It's pretty bad. Every week, the Archons return to Millwood Elementary and spend an hour with their mentees, reading, doing math problems, playing games, and above all, bonding. That they can see adult models uh, in suits. They can see them in their professional attire. But they got a chance to really see them uh, in, in the real world setting. So they can identify with that very early. Some of our kids don't have adult males in their life. Um, and especially at the elementary school, we have so many female teachers, um, which are very wonderful motherly role models, but we do not have as many men that work in elementary school. So to have these fine gentlemen come in um, who are professionals, who have good careers, who are very warm and accommodating, and they come in and they work with our children, it's, it's wonderful. They're gonna get a little more challenge in there. And for many of the Archons, it's a bond that has gone beyond the walls of Millwood Elementary School. How close are we, Cole? Very close. Oh, very close. This is my guy. Like, we're on the same page of things. We know each other a lot and we, and he sees me all the time because he's right up the street from my house and he comes by all the time. You know, he actually takes out time and come to his basketball games and do other little stuff with him. Uh, call him on his birthday. It's just, you know, it's more than just the program. I mean, he's really hands on with him. I appreciate the fact that this is a long time commitment. It's not just a one year. The, these, these men have, have committed themselves to follow the students uh, throughout their uh, time here at, at Millwood. And beyond, another arm of the Alpha Theta Boule social action component is the Bertram Edward Sears Lecture Series. Each year, the Boule brings more than 60 high school students to the University of Oklahoma Law School, where they learn about college admissions, financial planning, and attend a college fair. It's a program that we take upward bound students and high school students and take them out of their environment and introduce them to successful people and the community such as lawyers, college presidents, engineers, realtors. We have archons, our newly elected archons. We use them to speak to the kids and motivate them and share their educational and life experiences and how they got to where they are, the obstacles that they went through, their life journeys. And so the Edward Bertram Sears is um, a program that we can uh, educate these kids on what it is to be successful. Rounding out the chapter's social action work is the Gravelly E. Finley Scholarship, a partnership with Langston University, Oklahoma's only historically black higher learning institution, Alpha Theta Boule offers a thousand dollar scholarship to two students each year, beginning their sophomore year in school. We're real excited about the scholarship program now because the president of the university is an archon and he has agreed to match our efforts 
dependent on financial need for the students. A couple of years ago, we discovered that even though we were giving college scholarships to college students, we were still losing them in college. So we discovered at Langston University, we have four people on administration there. We have six students that we have to give scholarships to. So why don't we assign them an administrator to a student? Since that happened, we haven't lost a single student. In fact, we've now increased it. Their grades have gone up, and that gives us a whole nother level. We use need as one of the criteria for looking at the students. Uh, we look at the overall family history of the student because what we found was most of our applicants came from single families. We, we did as much as we could in terms of looking at the overall candidate rather than strictly GPA. That's one reason our GPA is a 2.8, which gives us an opportunity to look at uh, many more students rather than just those that are at a point where they might be a 4.0 student. But it all starts here. They look forward to that every time they come and they really enjoy spending that time with their mentor. And true to the name, at the end of the first year of the Ride into the Future program, the Archons awarded their students with a brand new bicycle. We based our merits of completing the program on uh, good attendance, uh, good behavior in the classroom, and not being suspended. Out of the nine kids that were in the program, five of them were able to get their bicycles. Four of them didn't meet the, the mark to get their bicycle. But I think that was the turning point in our program because it was a clear, in-your-face moment for everybody in that room to understand that there were consequences to their actions. And it was so uh, just spellbinding to see these young third graders understand that it was real. It was real. Uh, conduct, attendance, behavior was important and they were going to be held accountable to it. And so watching that transition of those kids who got their bicycles and those that didn't was just incredible. Now, before we let those kids walk out of that room, we made one thing clear to them. And that is the individuals, those kids who did not get bicycles, we still had their bicycles. Their bicycles are in the warehouse. And their bicycles are still contingent upon good citizenship, good grades, good attendance, and not getting suspended. So now they have a goal to work toward for the end of this year. And I have seen a change in those boys. I've seen those boys think twice before they just react. There were those students when they did have discipline issues, they were working uh, to resolve them. Uh, they did not want to lose the possibility of being disappointing uh, their mentors. Parents have been very receptive of the program. They're appreciative of the program and they have seen a change in the boys. I think all young men need uh, men in their life. And um, Javion, with his father being absent, it helps out a lot. Uh, uh, different things that me as a mother couldn't do, the same thing as a man. He taught me to look in somebody's eye and uh, shake hands. Just show him something different. His big dream in life used to be, oh, I'm going to be a professional basketball player or a football player. Now he have different goals, like I want to go to college, I want to own my own business. And I think it's partially because he's seen positive men in his life who's, you know, who's actually making those things happen. I think it's excellent. So it's, it all starts at home, and so I'm just very thankful that I'm just some water to help him continue to nurture his growth. We're not teachers, we're not educators. And our job is simply to tell those kids, you can do it. You can do it. And here we're talking about males. And uh, there are those who have very negative things that can impact these young, young people. And, and they're at that age where they can be drawn into the wrong environment. Uh, hopefully one day that model will be here, uh, where every student would have someone as a mentor. And, and I believe that uh, uh, the Boulet is, is really laying the groundwork for that. It has surged through our organization in a way that the mentors are proud, that they want to talk about their kids. So this program is not just about 10 archons that are doing the mentoring program. This program is about everybody in Alpha Theta Boulay who is a part of this mentoring effort. As busy as you are, as, as many things that are important to you that you have to get done in this world, in the business side or sector of life to make a living, that when you take time and meet an individual who is 11 and 12 years old, 
That's truly what life is all about, and it's fulfilling. All of these programs are put together in such a way that what we're trying to do is everything we can, reach it from every point and every angle that we can reach it from, of getting these young men to understand that one, it's important that they get through school, it's important that they stay in school, also showing them that there are people out there that are successful that they can be like. The sky's the limit. We think we've hit a home run with this program.